What's up guys? It's Carly Schroeder, personal trainer, functional nutrition coach, and your fertility coach. Today, we're gonna talk a little bit about what you can actually get from taking your basal body temperature, checking your cervical mucus, and cervical positioning. So if you guys have never done any of this before, then first just start to understand, soak it up, and if you have done it before, let's talk about what you're actually getting from tracking these certain things if fertility and conception is on your mind. So I wanna first talk to you guys about basal body temperatures and what this has to do with your menstrual cycle and why it's so important to track it and some potential things that you might be doing wrong or how to get consistent results with it. So check, checking your temperature is so important as we move through the menstrual cycle. And it changes, our body actually fluctuates as different hormones are secreted in the body. So what you'll see is in the second half, the latter part after ovulation occurs, you'll actually see that there is a thermal shift in your basal body temperature. If that thermal shift is not happening, it can tell us information about whether actually ovulation is even occurring or if you're perhaps just having an estrogen withdrawal bleeding or if the bleed, the menses is not even actually related to the um, ovulation. So this is so important to understand this and to track this. Know that basal body temperatures, checking these temperatures isn't for us to decide when to um, practice intercourse or when to have intercourse, it's to help us confirm that ovulation has occurred. And so some people believe, okay, well, once I see the thermal shift, now it's time for intercourse, which is just not true. Let's debunk that. What we do is we notice through our cervical mucus and our cervical positioning and checking the temperatures, we can then confirm that ovulation did occur. So how I recommend doing that as you're gonna do this before you get out of the bed in the morning, you wanna set an alarm, be consistent with taking those temperatures, guys, and notice if there's any outliers in your temperatures. So if you were to have like a crazy stressful day or week, you may see it's erotic. If you were to um, go to bed later than normal, drink alcohol, smoke, um, you know, something crazy, travel, any of these things can throw off that temperature. And so we can use, um, like checking our uh, temperature, we're gonna rule out the outliers. Um, and this is something I'll teach you how to do in school.com on my master course. The entire week is free to you. So if you're like, what does that mean? Or I wanna know more about that, drop a comment, ask a question, or join me on schoolrootsfree.com um, so you can get access to this information. The next thing we're gonna be doing is, um, along with checking the temperatures, sorry about this, I'm stumbling around, is checking our cervical mucus and the changes throughout the menstrual cycle. It's really fascinating how it changes through the menstrual cycle, and if you haven't known this before, the um, cervical mucus is produced by the glands in the cervix, and it undergoes these noticeable changes in consistency, in color, and in volume throughout your cycle. These changes are influenced by the hormonal fluctuations, particularly estrogen and progesterone levels throughout your menstrual cycle. And it is critical for our reproductive health. So if we are in a state of estrogen dominance, then we would not see the correct um, spike in the luteal phase, the lat latter part of our menstrual cycle, long enough for us to even conceive a baby. So that's why it's so important to check and track and know what's going on with the cervical mucus and our body temperature and the position of the cervix. So what are we looking for? You're gonna notice during your cycle, there's a phase, you go through your um, menstrual cycle and it's you're gonna have your bleed and you just mark this. And then there's a stage where there's dry and then you're gonna see that the consistency changes. So it kinda just starts to escalate. And so it'll go through a dry phase, not really anything's happening. Then this, the consistency is gonna start to change into a creamy substance and then it's gonna get um, sticky, creamy, and then it's gonna get to a wet, lubricative state where it has an egg white consistency. When you're experiencing this high volume, this peak with the egg white consistency, that peak is telling you 
that ovulation is about to occur. And this is when we want to time intercourse. As it starts to ramp up, you will also see as it starts to ramp up or you might also start to experience or feel the vaginal sensations. So ovulation is occurring at peak day or with the vaginal sensations. So be aware. So notice the cervical changes along the cycle. After that, what you'll see is it will peak and it will usually then drop. So it's with the rise of estrogen in the body and then it's gonna drop as there's a rise in progesterone in the latter part of the cycle. The last part is checking the positioning of the cervix. And this is something that's gonna take a little practice, a little time to know how to do. So be patient with yourself and just go into this like you're a student learning what is this. Maybe you never experienced checking yourself um, checking the cervical position and giving yourself some grace and just noticing some changes. So the acronym I like to remind you to use is SHOW. So the position of the cervix um, is, you're going to remember if it's soft or open, or sorry, soft or firm. And so when I say soft, I'm talking about like this, the soft of your lips. And when I say firm, I'm going to talk about like, like how it feels at the top of your nose. And so just pay attention to those different um, feelings in your body. H is for height, so whether it's high or low, and O is for openness or if it's closed, and then W is the wetness, so bringing you back to cer the cervical mucus. If it's really wet, if it's in that consistency, the sticky egg white consistency that you can literally take between your fingertips. If there is enough progesterone in the body, that um, stickiness will start to dry up over time. And if there isn't, it would remain really lubricative. lubricative. How come I can't say that word today? <laughs> um, so just pay attention to that as well. So that's what we're looking for in our cervix and starting to take notes. When the cervix is open and it goes and it moves up to high positioning, we're getting ready for the ideal time to conceive and to plan intercourse. So all these tips, you guys, are meant for you to start to practice and use and actually chart it out my favorite chart, if you go to the fertility awareness method, just type it in on Google, I'll also link it below. You can download free charts and also look at examples, which is super helpful, or jump on my master course where I teach you how to draw your cover line, mark all these um, information in a chart. So now you can actually start to make sense of it and what that means in taking charge of your fertility. Thank you so much for joining along and for looking for more content. If you have questions, drop a question down below. Let me know what else you're looking for, what content you are confused about, and we'll just keep this conversation going.